Alright, hello YouTube. This is Intensive Maker here bringing you some single player tutorial for the Better Than Wolves. Basically what I'm placing down here for the elevator tutorial that I'm about to show you is the platform, which will be the part that rises up and down through your elevator shaft that you've created. Uh, well, not maybe not elevator, but it could be a mine shaft that you just want to be able to go up without having to use a ladder or have stairs. Um, so basically you need a dead center, well you don't have to have a dead center point, but that's always the nice thing that I think that makes some some sense for, uh, for like, just generally, because it just, I don't know, it just helps out a lot in the way that, um, uh, uh, it just helps so that it, it it's, it's easier for you to, um, for like, just, because it's more, it's, since it's dead center, it just makes it more simple, like, you know, you don't have to worry about it, like, being off to the side, I mean, it might be nice to have it off to the side at one point, but, you know, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to dig to And you want to have a five long by two deep trench, and at one end you want to have a stream of water. No matter what it is, it needs to be a stream of water. Uh, it just powers the water wheel. And so we want to have our thing. And usually I like to set it up so it should work like this. Oops. Okay, so that one works, so it has to have deep. There we go. Now we need our water wheel. And the water wheel is the next most, like, it's not hard to set up, like, I mean, it's quite easy. Um, do, do, do. It's really simple to set this up, and I'm doing this on the, on the fly because I don't really have anything, like, prepared for any explaining this. I know it might be better if I did, but I don't, so sucks. But basically, just hook it up to your generator, which will power it, and you could have it so it just worked via, um, uh, what's it called? Just by, um, like, you could just be hooked up like this with, um, one simple lever and then the lever would activate it up and down, but you wouldn't have to wait to get up from the bottom, which is probably the main idea. Uh, I'm going to sleep it off tonight, just so that I, it's day when I work. And if you haven't watched my other video, this is the be the rest of the Better Than Wolves mod materials sort of put into action. Uh, some of the stuff I didn't really get to put in, but mm, I'd say most of it I did. This is just a quick tutorial on what I have to show you. Basically, the next thing I think we should probably make is the T flip flop, which I'm not sure if many of you know how to make. It's not really very hard to make, but it's four by like you have four along, and then you have to dig this out. And usually, you don't do this until after, but I'll just do it now to speed up the process. It's just kind of tricky mumbo jumbo wiring. You know, it's not one of those things you're ever really going to need, it's just, except for this. Like, I mean, this is probably one of the easier ways to uh, set this thing up. Um, it's kind of simple in a way, but you just have to know how to use redstone wiring. And if you don't, this is one really quick way of setting it up. I'll just do um, a couple of rounds just so that everyone does know exactly how to do this. Um... That's the T flip flop. Um, basically, this one here needs to be hooked up. This is a different way I'm doing it this time because I don't have enough room to hook it up. But basically, it needs to hook up so that this one here, oops, this one has to go up like this and then like, oops, and then like this. Okay, so it goes like this. This is the one that you hook up your transmitters to, or no, receivers to. So you need to hook up. <coughs> two receivers, and that could be <coughs> kind of complicated, because uh, it's kind of a, 
tight space here because um, I didn't really plan on this very well, obviously. So, <clears throat> so we'll just build it like this. Basically, you need to pick this up like this. Get up. So you need two receivers, which is these are transmitters, which I don't need right now. So you gotta have two of these. And I'm gonna have it hooked up like this. Since this is beside it, I don't think it's going to work. Well, maybe there's no difference. Who knows? Because that's turned off right now, anyway. Um. Alright. Oops. That's what the problem is right there. Well, one of the problems. Get out of here. You stupid sheep. And since I have more than one of these, I'm going to hook it up to 5 frequency. And I can hook this one up to six frequency. Uh, and since it's teeth flip flop, I don't know what I did wrong, but anyway. So we need now we need two transmitters, which are right here. And we we'll place one here, one here. Oops. We'll place this, build it up like this, and then we need two buttons. And I'm only hacking these things in because it makes it just a lot easier to set up. So we need one on five and one on six. And I'll put one of these down at the bottom right after. I just thought I'd prove the point of that it works. And this one needs to do a whole lot of running around. So it's going to need an extender, or a repeater I should say, to hook up to actually work. So break this one and find us a nice repeater. I'm sorry if I'm not talking loud enough. It's sort of just late and I'm quite tired. So this is oh Jesus crikey Dundee. I didn't mean for it to go down right away. Um so if you flick the switch again I think it should come up. There we go. See as it comes up here, let me just turn the sound up and I'll show you what sound it sort of makes. Um, so this is your T flip flop. It's quite easy. I forgot to show you around the wiring, but this is basically it. Two pieces. I'll show you how to make another one after, just so that you do know for sure. But this is your T flip flop, and basically it controls it. It makes everything work. So you click it. It makes a little banging noise, and it sends the elevator down. If you click it again, it brings it up. So now I'm going to bring this one to the bottom of the sh mine shaft by going down my handy dandy ladder that I built. And we'll just dig a little cave so we can put our two deep thing or two or three deep. We obviously have surface right there. This is just right in front of the other mod the mod spotlight that I showed you so if you ever if you haven't watched that one it'd be nice if you go back and watch that one um, let's place that there we need it's a transmitter which I have in my hand luckily we'll place this down and we'll go over here we'll put this one at frequency six now I'm sure that you could probably hook this up a different way um, I'm just doing it this way because it's easier it does require two mods the um, I'm actually going to send this back up first so that I don't have to dig my way around it, but I'll just do this really quickly. Oh, Jesus, quirky dummy. Um, okay. This is just a really quick version of it. Like, it's not very complicated. It does require two mods, but the two mods are very easy to install. Um, I may do two different ones, but basically, click the button, sends your elevator platform down. Uh, I'm not sure what the like the max settings or the minimum settings are on this, but I know that it, it's powered off of a water wheel, which is quite easy to set up. Um, I think it may run off of one frequency. If, I think it would probably work with just one, so you would only need the one. So we'll just give that a try just so it may be a little bit easier. Because then it would just be able to go like this. So there we go, night. 
take this is we need to get a receiver. We'll take the receiver, place it down. One, two, three, four, five. That was rig to number five. And now we're gonna just change this one's frequency really quickly to frequency number five. And boom. And it works. So both buttons should work on frequency number five. And as I said, I'd show you the really quick T flip flop and go into more depth on how to build it. Uh, so basically, you need a, one, a four long kind of block areas. It's getting in there. There we go. So you need four long, and I guess it doesn't really matter what you build it out of. And on the, the I guess the second last block, you want to place four blocks. So I got two, three, four, and then you want to get rid of it. And you're gonna need probably I think. 11 pieces of dirt for this. Um, it's quite simple to build. And so you've built these and you've got your 4 by 4. One out from the 4 on the second one in, place a block, jump up, place another block. And then if you jump over and you go to the very end of this, place one right down from it. And now for the redstone torch placing, place one on the inside of here. And if you can do that, just place one right back there. I'll show you in a second. And you place one on there. Place one on there. And place one on there. And these are quite simple to set up. As you can probably tell. And basically, to do this, you go like this. So it's just three pieces of redstone. So it probably requires... So we got five so far. And it has to have two um, pieces going out. So we got four, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, probably fifteen to twenty pieces to actually make this thing work. And so, if we're going to test our, I think I've, uh, I think I did this right. So if I put a lever or button on here, it should. There we go. See, it worked. Alright, this is good. So basically, that's your basic T flip flop. And I'll be doing more tutorials on Better Than Wolves. This isn't very compact. I'll show you the other version that I have downstairs. But again, this was in the other spotlight that I did. Uh, it does require two mods. I will have a link in the description for both. And I may end up showing you later on how to build some other things. As you can see, I did this with two this time down here because it just made it kind of easier because I didn't really think of using one until now. Um, so this is just more of a back room sort of thing. It's more hidden. It's got the input and the output. It's got the wireless redstone transmitters, receivers. There's one at the bottom, one at the top. goes up and down. The one way to tell if they're all working is if it's black. If you place more than three in a row, the gearbox will break on you, which really sucks, believe me, because I've tried to use it and it's broken and then I have to build a new one and it just it really sucks to have to. And I'll show you how I made this hibachi. It requires both the mods again. Um, that will probably be my next tutorial for this and it's really simple to make and I hope you guys enjoy being able to use this. Again both links will be in the description. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and tell me what I can do better. Because I know there is probably quite a lot. I don't know, since it's just me this time, it may have been a little bit more boring, but in the end, it's worth being able to know how to make these elevators and anything else. Alright, thanks guys.